Technology will be one of the biggest consumer trends for 2014. I'm here with Cheryl Connolly, futurist for Ford Motor Company. And Cheryl, it's no secret that social media is already a huge part of our consumer behavior, but how much will it be so in 2014? I think it'll really continue. One of the trends that we call out for 2014 is vying for validation. Um, selfie has become so popularized that the Oxford Dictionary actually added it to its lexicon this past mm -hmm. year. Um, the question is, though, is that when we're so concerned about our our public persona as we uh, place it on these platforms is how authentic are they? When we're concerned about kind of scrubbing all the dark sides, the warts, the things that we don't want anyone to see, do we lose our authentic self? Not to mention we're so busy with, say, selfies and Twitter and posting on Facebook and updating our status updates and everything like that, that it's probably pretty hard for retailers to get our full attention. So how can a company like Ford try to grab our attention when we're so busy multitasking? Well, I think that any, um, any marketer today has to recognize that you have to earn their attention. So you have to educate, inform, or otherwise entertain the viewer or you won't capture their attention. But I also think one of the things that we'll see in 2014 is that hopefully people will start to recognize that multitasking is a myth, that you really can't be effective at giving constant partial attention to the world around you. Do you think we'll see consumers try to seek a better balance between uh, the technology that we're so invested in and spending some time away from it in 2014? Yes, we've already seen some kind of inklings of that shift. We have this great battle happening between FOMO, the fear of missing out, versus JOMO, the joy of missing mm -hmm. out. And people are just kind of understanding that they need some time to decompress. And that might mean disconnecting, um, saving a little bit of uh, downtime to live in the moment, be completely present with whoever you're with. Right. I don't think I'm alone in saying sometimes it's nice to turn the phone off once yes. in a while. Thanks so much, Cheryl Connolly. I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.